Hi, I'm Destiny Green and I was born in Elwood, Kansas, which is where I went to school my entire life. One thing that sticks in my memory from my elementary school experience is when I was attacked by my best friend, Rottweiler. It was very rough for me to get over. I remember putting my fingers to my nose and feeling the blood gush out. I don't know if you can see my scar or not. But the next thing I remember from it is being in my hospital bed and getting prepped for surgery and my mom singing me the song, The Rose. Um, I was really worried that I was not going to come out of surgery once I got into it. I really thought it was the end of my life. But when I did get out of it, my dad welcomed me with this Hello Kitty. She has literally been there my, the rest of my life. I have not let her go. I sleep with her still at night. And she's literally, she got me through that surgery. She got me through the recovery and she was, I, I, I took her with me wherever I went. That's really all there is to say about it. Um, throughout high school, I had to deal with that. I had to deal with constantly covering my nose with bandages, bandages and people asking me, why, why do you have a bandage? Why aren't you showing your nose? Is it misshaped? Is something wrong? And finally, when I got to college, I was able to take that off, and I was able to finally let it physically heal the rest of the way. Um, the last time I went to buy bandages, I was actually at South Belt Walmart with my best friend Caitlin. Well, when we left Walmart, uh, this other truck cut us off. So Caitlin honked her horn, and we circled back around to get back on the belt to leave. Well, this truck started to follow us, so Caitlin watched him in his rearview mirror as I sat in the passenger seat, and when she looked back, he was holding his gun in the air. So Caitlin's like, call the cops. So I called my mom, and my best friend, who was in the back of the truck, called the police, and this truck followed us all the way home. Well, where I personally live, we live by this park. Well, we turned into the park to go around, and the truck turned to the next corner and followed us the rest of the way home. Um, once I got home, I called my mom, and I told her what was going on, and she decided to come to Highland, and she stayed with us that night. That was a very, very rough time. Like, I don't know what I would have done if my mother would not have been there that night. I did not sleep, and it, when I did fall asleep, I had nightmares, and I was right back awake. Uh, I ended up having to go back to the doctor. And when I did, I saw a therapist, and my therapist did diagnose me with post-traumatic stress disorder. She put me on an anxiety pill, and I still take this pill, but it has helped me calm down and level me out. I do still have frequent panic attacks, but I have grown to know how to take control of them and how to be able to do what I need to do when one does hit. But honestly, if it wasn't for the people in this picture frame I wouldn't have been able to get through it these people were literally my backbone this one right here is Caitlin she was in it with me but like I said these people were my backbone I could not have gotten through it without them now today I am a sophomore at Highland Community College I'm about to graduate with my associates in science in, in a couple weeks actually then I want to continue my education somewhere with a good nursing school. I was pretty set on Wichita, but I haven't necessarily made up my mind. Right now, I'm really, really, really looking into KU. They have an amazing nursing program, and I would be honored to be able to be a part of it. Once I am done with school, I want to go work at Children's Mercy. I want to minor in child psychology, and I want to be able to help kids out after the experience I have went through with the gun situation and being attacked and being bullied, I want to be able to know that I can help someone that the way that they helped me. And in conclusion, I just, I want my life to finally start looking like it needs to look like. And it is. I am so happy with where I am going and how I'm going to get there. Thanks and have a good day.